Hello and welcome again to Fox Comics in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. And we are unpacking this week's comic book order. And today is Tuesday, September 28th. All of these items will go on sale Wednesday, September 29th at 10 a.m. here at Fox Comics in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. And we're going to start with some of the magazines and trade paperbacks. Uh, the first uh, one to drop is Star Wars Insider is out this week. Um, we got in Keanu Reeves' Berserker Volume 1 trade paperback. It has the first four comics all in it. Uh, then from Marvel, we have uh, multiples of all the Donny Cates Venom run. So we're just showing you one, but we got all of those. And then same with the boys. We have all of the omnibuses, one through six, plenty of each, and they are here as well. We're going to start the individual comic books this week with DC, and that's Action Comics 1035. And that's the A cover, and here's the variant for Action Comics. Up next from Image Publishing will be issue five of Matt Fraction's Adventure Man. Then from Marvel, we have issue three of Amazing Fantasy, which is just a gorgeous cover. And then we have the uh, variant cover there. Also from Marvel, heavily anticipated this week, uh, issue 74 of The Amazing Spider-Man, also issue 875, and I believe the conclusion to the Kindred Saga, if I'm not mistaken. But it'll also have collected stories. That's the A cover there, and then this is the Peach Momoko variant. And then that's the Miles Morales 10-year anniversary variant. Uh, from DC, uh, Batman The Adventures Continue, Season 2, Issue 4. Uh, we got the variants in last week. Uh, the printer was slow getting these to Lunar, but Lunar got them to us. So those will be out this week. If it's on your poll, you will see it. Um, then from DC also, we have Issue 4 of Garth Ennis' Batman Reptilian. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful looking story and a very odd take on Batman. Uh, there's the Reptilian uh, variant cover right there. And then I believe the Retailer Thank You is right there. Just gorgeous. Uh, also from DC, we have Batman Superman, issue 22. And uh, then the variant cover for Batman Superman, issue 22. Also from DC, because we're in the Batman Bailiwick, we've got Batman Urban Legends, issue 6. And then part of the uh, Black Label, DC Black Label series, we have Batman vs. Bigby, A Wolf in Gotham. And that is issue one. And then there's the variant cover there. Uh, then from Marvel, we have issue 10 of Black Cat. I've got one of those myself. And then we have uh, the variant edition for Black Cat right there. And then we have the uh, Miles Morales 10-year anniversary variant right there. That's a gorgeous variant with Miles on there. Uh, Titan Comics is up next with issue 8 of Blade Runner 2029. And uh, the variant cover for Blade Runner 2029 issue 8 is right there. Uh, speaking of Keanu Reeves and Berserker, we have Keanu Reeves Berserker issue 5 is in, as is the foil variant. I'm sure you can see how foily that is. And then the, uh, the variant cover is right there, as well as a, I believe, a store thank you variant right there. Uh, DC is up next with issue four of Checkmate. And uh, that is the variant cover for Checkmate right there. Uh, Dark Horse Comics is up next with uh, a one-shot called Children of the Plague. And uh, let me see. Oh, and then from Donny Cates, we have issue eight of Crossover. And uh, Marvel is up next with issue two of Dark Hawk. And uh, there's the variant cover for Dark Hawk. And then we have the uh, some variants for a comic that came out last week that didn't hadn't gotten to Marvel yet. Uh, these are variants for Darkhold issue one. Not Darkhawk, but Darkhold. That is those. And then from DC, we have uh, issue one of Deathstroke Incorporated. And um, there's the variant cover for Deathstroke Incorporated. And then yet another variant. Uh, 
then from Image Publishing, uh, James Tinian, the guy that's doing uh, Something is Killing the Children, his issue 13 of the Department of Truth. And then from DC, we have issue 1043 of Detective Comics. And uh, this has to be a Lee Bermejo variant, but uh, a beautiful Bermejo variant for Detective Comics 1043. And then this great Huntress Wanted poster as a store. Thank you for Detective Comics, Tim43. Uh, from Image Publishing, Kieran Gillen's Die, issue 20. And the beautiful variant cover for Die, issue 20. Also from Image Publishing, um, Echo Lands, issue 2. And uh, this is the variant cover for Echo Lands issue two. Beautiful comic, the way it's laid out sideways and cut differently than all the others. I just everything about Echo Lands, I'm really enjoying. Another cool thing they did is this is what they call Echo Lands raw cut, and this is issue one, but it's it's got all the the writers' notes and artist notes and their playlist they were listening to when they put it together. Um, but it's kind of like a complete. Here's um, peek behind the scenes at Echoes number one, and they call it Raw Cut, and there's the variant cover for Raw Cut, uh, issue one. Just a really great job from uh, Image's part. Marvel's up next with Extreme Carnage, Omega, and that is, uh, I believe, the A cover, and then we have the 30th anniversary of Deadpool Extreme Carnage variant. We have the Scotty Young variant. Uh, we have the collectible connecting trading card variant. And then we have the Stormbreakers super villain variant. And then we have, uh, I think, a one per store. Thank you, but it's, um, we only got one of them. I know that. Firefly is up next from Boom Studios. River Run, issue one. Uh, then from uh, Dark Horse Comics, uh, issue two of the two scheduled of Mike Mignola's The Golem Walks Among Us. From Image Publishing, uh, kind of a racist publication uh, called The Good Asian, issue five. That's why we carry it here at Foxes, just to upset some people. Uh, next up from Xenoscope, we have issue 52 of Grim Fairy Tales, Cyberpunked. And from Dark Horse Comics, we have uh, Gru Meets Tarzan, and that is issue three. And then from Titan Comics, we have issue one of Gun Honey. And um, then from um, DC, we have the variant for Harley Quinn, issue seven, and we were just notified by Lunar that the A covers were printed slightly delayed and we should be getting them late this week. So if you have Harley Quinn on your pull list, we will be filling that later this week uh, or when they arrive, whichever comes first. Uh, also from DC, issue three of Icon and Rocket, season one. I think that's got that raccoon in the talking tree, if I'm not mistaken. And then there's the variant cover for Icon and Rocket. Marvel is up next with another uh, pretty heavily anticipated Jonathan Hickman's Inferno, Issue 1. And then we have uh, several variants. I believe that to be a Peach Momoko. And then we're going to have, I believe, a Wraparound variant. And then we have a uh, Stanley Lau Art Germ variant, which is just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, DC is up next with Justice League, Issue 68. And then there's the variant cover for Justice League 68. Also from DC, Legends of the Dark Knight, issue 5. And uh, there's the variant cover for Legends of the Dark Knight, issue 5. Uh, also from DC and IDW, we have Lock and Key, issue 2, Hell and Gone. some of the variant covers they've offered on that. They, that hasn't always been an option for uh, some of these Sandman universe. They don't always offer us uh, variants, but this time around they did. Scout Comics, issue five of Midnight Western Theater. 
Marvel is up next with issue 30 of Miles Morales Spider-Man. And um, then we have the Miles Morales 10-year anniversary variant cover for that, just ironically. DC is up next with issue 5 of Mr. Miracle, The Source of Freedom. And there is your variant cover for Mr. Miracle, The Source of Freedom, issue 5. Marvel is up next with Non-Stop Spider-Man, issue 5. Then from Aftershock Comics, we have issue 4 of Out of Body. Dark Horse is up next with Cullen Bunn's Parasomnia. And that is issue 4. And then that is the beautiful issue 4 variant cover is right there. Thank you, young man. Uh, then from AWA Upshot, we have Michael Straczynski's The Resistance Uprising, issue 6 of the 6 scheduled. So that is your finale. DC is up next with Robin, issue 6. And then we have the um, Robin, issue 6 variant cover there. Uh, Xenoscope is up next with Robin Hood, Knight of the Hunter. Uh, then from DC, Ruby Justice League, issue 6. Is the Ruby Justice League issue six variant serial uh, by Terry Moore um, from Abstract Studios issue seven? Really a great book. If you've not read it, I'd suggest maybe picking that up. It's a really good read. Aftershock Comics we have issue five of Silver City. Boom Studios is up next with issue twenty of Something Is Killing the Children. And just a fantastic variant for Something is Killing the Children, issue 20. Uh, from Dynamite, we have issue 8 of Sonya Versal. And then from Scoot Comics, uh, we have issue 1 of Soul Stream. And then from Humanoids, um, we have issue 8 of Space Bastards. So that is Space Bastards, issue 8. Uh, Image Publishing is up next with Spawn, issue 322. And then there is the variant cover for Spawn 322. Marvel's up next with Star Wars, issue 17. And there's one of the Star Wars variants for issue 17. And there's the 50th anniversary of Lucasfilm's variant cover. And then we have the, uh, I believe, the action figure variant cover. IDW is up next with Star Wars Adventures, issue 10. From Dark Horse Comics, we have Stranger Things, uh, and that's a mini arc of four comics deep, and that's issue one. And uh, there's one of the variant covers. And there's yet another variant cover for Stranger Things, issue one. DC is up next with Superman 78, Issue 2. And there's the variant cover for Superman 78, Issue 2. Also from DC, we have Superman, Son of Kal-El, Issue 3. And there's beautiful variant cover for Superman, Son of Kal-El, Issue 3. Marvel, Issue 8 of Sword. And there's the variant edition right there. Also from Marvel, we have issue five of The Marvels. Uh, then also from Marvel, we have issue 17 of Donny Cates' Thor. And that comes um, with that cover or the 10-year um, anniversary of Miles Morales variant cover. IDW is up next with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue 121. And then we also have the Kevin Eastman variant for 121 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. IDW is up next with Transformers, Issue 2, and it is Shattered Glass. And uh, then we have from Image Publishing, Issue 16 of Undiscovered Country from Scott Snyder. And um, that is the variant cover for Undiscovered Country, Issue 16. From Dynamite Publishing, we have Issue 22 of Vengeance of Vampirilla. And 
and then a just beautiful variant cover for Vengeance of Vampirilla 22. And that looks like probably the cosplay cover for issue 22. And then from Red 5 Comics, we have issue 1 of Verge. And then from um, Marvel, we have uh, issue 2 of Winter Guard. And um, there is a variant cover for Winter Guard. And then from also from Marvel, issue 16 of Wolverine. And then we have some lovely variants for Wolverine, issue 16, including the Miles Morales 10-year anniversary variant. I love that they're doing that for Miles. And DC, finally, the last comic this week is DC's Wonder Woman Black and Gold, issue 4. And that is the beautiful A cover. And we also have the variant cover as well. So that's it for the comics and Chotsky here at Fox's. Uh, remember, all these items will go on sale Wednesday, September 29th at Fox Comics in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. Thanks.